The first gay pride parade in Belgrade for nearly 10 years ended in violence as a handful of objectors to the march hurled stones and explosives at the police. Scores of police officers were injured and buildings and vehicles set on fire as the centre of Belgrade became a no-go zone. Earlier in the day, Amnesty International activists joined more than a thousand people on the parade, including EU ambassadors and Serbian politicians, before marching through the capital. It's not a question of how many pride parades you have to organise before you join the European uh, Union. What is important is that you have a good legislation, that this legislation, anti-discrimination legislation, is properly applied. And one way of showing that it is applied is to allow this kind of events to take place because it's freedom of expression and it's uh, freedom of assembly. And this is what we are attached about. I sada je jasno da su nas zamajavali sve vreme, a nisu ni planirali da se fraj dodrži. Sve one pretnje, smrću, nasiljem, niko opet nije odgovarao. Ove godine ćemo da šetamo zajedno. It's important that it's happened. This is really historical moment that we are now walking, that it's people come from different area, they come from different backgrounds, so I think that this is important. This is about, you know, non-discrimination. About human dignity, I mean, about, about rights. Dignity. It's about dignity. About your right to think, to be whatever you want. This is important for human rights across, not just in Serbia, but for the progression of human rights across East Europe and the Balkans all together. I am satisfied with that she has been able to do it. And that is the key message. Regardless of the threats that have existed in the past and in the past of today, we have shown that Serbia is a country where people can be free. They can enjoy their freedom. Next year again? No. Sure? Yes. Despite the Belgrade Pride Parade being a triumph for freedom of expression in Serbia, it is still evident that Serbian society has a long way to go before everyone can enjoy the human rights to which they are entitled. Finally, after 10 years, the Belgrade Pride could actually take place and that there is a tremendous amount of media coverage broadcasting the positive message of uh, gay uh, tolerance and of course a police force that's not saying we are against it but we will uh, safeguard you. Obviously, we haven't seen that many gays and lesbians, Serbian gays and lesbians, uh, participate in the march, which is uh, very clear why they're not here, because there's so much media, and when they get uh, exposed in the newspaper or on television, uh, they will get fired, or they will thrown out of family structures, or they will get pestered or beaten up. So the society is not uh, ready uh, for all gays and lesbians in society to really open up and participate in uh, a march like this. And also, that means that we can be very proud of those people who actually did, because those are the frontliners that we need in changing society.